serving the community. Irvin Tennis Community are a not-for-profit registered Scottish charity group of volunteers hoping to bring back a tennis facility that the people of Irvine can be proud of to call their own. In the heart of Irvine, where passion meets precision, stands a cornerstone of tennis excellence, the Irvine Tennis Community. A sanctuary for enthusiasts, beginners and champions alike. It is rare for Ayrshire to have a modern sports facility for the community. However, one man has dedicated his time to change that, Chris McKenna. So basically, uh, what happened was I was a member of Trin Tennis Club and uh, we used to drive by these tennis courts all the time. So I'd emailed the council and emailed Tennis Scotland to see about trying to reinvigorate the courts and get the courts back into use. So basically it kind of snowballed from there. It's going to be fun. Uh, and that's when it all kind of started. So I emailed the council and it kind of grew arms and legs. And basically the council decided that they wanted to kind of do a community asset transfer or, or, or let the kind of tennis courts go in. So there are seven people on the committee uh, and we are trustees, we set up a charity, so we are trustees of the charity and we are the, kind of responsible for the financial running and the day-to-day -day running of the club. But in the wider kind of group, there's maybe about 20 or so kind of volunteers who help kind of do all the maintenance work and uh, put the tennis lines down, put the tennis no uh, nets up and kind of help clean the place, keep it tidy and stuff. So the, the first initial aim was just to get people playing tennis in Irvine again. Uh, the, the courts hadn't been used for years. They were unplayable. Uh, there was nails lying about everywhere from the, the old kind of line system. So the idea was just to get, get people playing tennis. But the bigger I, the short term idea was that, but the long term idea was get it up to kind of standard with the local clubs, which have all got floodlights, stuff and so on, and, and they take part in the, the tennis league. So that was a kind of long term aim, but a short term aim was just get people playing tennis. First of all, the first stage was basically get them playable, so it was get their old red ash courts, smooth them out, make them more compact, put new lines down, put new nets up. Uh, that was the kind of short term work that we did, and, and as a result of all that work, we uh, managed to then secure a lot of funding to get the, the main resurfacing work, which is about almost £300,000 worth of work being done, so it's new drainage, get rid of the old red blaze, put power cables in for the floodlights, get a new uh, tarmac surface, new astro turf surface, and uh, build a clubhouse. So uh, that, that's the kind of extent of all the work that's, that's been done. So we've got funded, a lot of funding from North Ayrshire Council. So there's several different funds in North Ayrshire Council that we approached. There was the North Ayrshire Regeneration Trust, who gave us £25,000. The North Ayrshire Community Investment Fund, who gave us a massive £100,000. That was in links with the Everland Locality Partnership. And Sports Scotland gave us £100,000. We also had £25,000 from uh, the Valencia Communities Trust, £25,000 from the UK Shared Prosperity Fund, uh, some money from the lottery as well. So yeah, a variety of different funders, but the big ones were Sports Scotland and North Ayrshire Council. There are many other areas in Ayrshire that could do with having sports areas and revamped just like Irvine. Less than eight miles away from the court is a small town of Dalry. Even though the town's public park is a big area, there's not much there for the community. But local resident Alan remembers it quite differently. Yeah, if it, there was a young boy, we used to come down here um, every summer. There used to be a thing called the Cunningham card that we got, and that allowed you free usage of all the facilities. There was a tennis court, there was putting, and there was also a boating pond. And you used to be able to uh, use all those things as many times as you wanted. And it was really, really good. Yeah, if all those kind of things were to come back, it'd be really good for the kids, especially in the summer. It would give them uh, something to do, keep them off the streets. And it would certainly it would, it would help uh, the look of the park and make it a lot better. Dalry is one of many communities that would benefit from something like a tennis court. Irvin is lucky, with Chris already having many future plans for the court. So there's still the clubhouse is still to be built, which is uh, going to be over in that corner over there. So hopefully that will be uh, that will be done in next spring summer time. That will give us a place where we've got toilet facilities and we've got uh, somewhere to kind of sit after and socialise and so on. But how effectively has this court served the community? Well, first of all, it provides a tennis uh, facility in Irvine. There isn't one. They need this tennis facility just now. 
or beforehand was maybe five, six miles away in Comores or, or Stewarton. So it's going to provide a, a tennis field. Also, we've, unusual to most tennis community clubs, we've got free pickleball courts. At the, the, when I say free, I mean free of charge uh, for the local community to come around and use. There's also one of the cheapest memberships in Ayrshire or to join, it's £50 for a year. Most, I think the next cheapest club after that is £150. So it's basically going to provide a really affordable place for people to come and play tennis. We're also putting lots of free tennis events for children and for adults with free coaching. Just get involved, come down and participate in the kind of the social events and the, the Tuesday and the Wednesday nights. It's a great way to keep active. Sometimes people can't get motivated to go to the gym or go out running, but at least when you're playing sport, there's a competitive edge, there's fun involved, there's socialising, uh, you're exercising a lot of the time while playing a game, so it's uh, a lot easier to get motivated to come out and uh, move about.